people. As always, I am your wolf brother Mythos Kastronada from the channel Frost and Fist. Accompanying me on the screen is my beautiful co-host, your lovable huggable freak from the Imperial Fist. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we are not even in the same city, so Freak and I decided to do another Skype chat, get our groove on, and show you guys what we've been doing in the Get It Painted Challenge. And Get It Painted, of course, is hosted by Edic Beer. Go check out his channel, Edic Beer, and go check out Nick. his Google Plus group and get in on the challenge or support people that are in the challenge and check out the beautiful work they've been putting out. So, That's awesome. Freak, what you been doing in the challenge, my man? Well, my friend, uh, as you well know, I am out of town and uh, really missing my, my wolf brother, Mythos. Uh, man, I, I, I am itching for a game, so I can't wait to come back home, but I'm going to have to wait for another two weeks. Um, but uh, because I've been out, um, I really haven't had, I've had a little struggle in getting something painted, some of my, my models painted. So Yeah, your first um, week you I, didn't have access to any of your models or anything, did you? Right, exactly. My first week I had no access, so I was pretty much just dead in the water. Uh, so I went home for the weekend, grabbed all of my paint gear, you should have seen me, I ridiculous. Loaded all this stuff in my work van, um, grabbed a few models that uh, I wanted to work on this week, um, came back and was able to actually work a little bit on um, my Terminators. As a matter of fact, most of you guys have already seen some of the uh, uh, the battle report that we just did for uh, the Loyalist Night Lords versus um, Imperial Fist, and my Terminators, which at the time were not really painted, right? did they, a fan. They were still in mm -hmm. the uh, Deathwing colors from uh, where our awesome friend James donated them to you, right? That's exactly right. They were Deathwing uh, colors, um, and they had the... Uh, the, 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 the embossed logo on their pauldrons. Right, the iconography? But yeah, yeah, and so, so hey, you know what? They, um, they had to show their worth, right? And they did. They did magnificently, and they represented <laughs> they the They took fist down almost a whole squad of Terminators with just their shore bolters. <laughs> they sure did, and they, they, they really did a great job. And so, because of that, they've earned their colors. Now, um, that um, um, that video was just posted here recently, but that uh, bad <laughs> That's report, from weeks ago. <laughs> I know. That was about two weeks ago, so we apologize for the late. It's just, again, the logistics have been kind of tricky, but since then, I've been working on those Terminators and giving them their, uh, their promotions to the Imperial Fizz and that beautiful color that we love so dearly. Uh, and so, I'm going to show you here um, as you can see in these pictures, um, you see that I've already done the uh, uh, the shading and the highlighting, all done by airbrush. The base coating's been been done, uh, and you can see that I've already applied the uh, black basing for anything that's going to go silver or won't stay black. Airbrushing um, in the hotel room, laying down paint. <laughs> That's right, my man. Way to do it. Not letting the man keep you down in the hobby. That's right. Fight the power. You got to work in another city? That's right. You got to get your hobby on. That's gotta what you got to do. Got to get it on, man. Got to get my paint on. And I, so I know we're not the only ones in this hobby that have felt the strain of work squeezing in and still trying to fit in the hobby, right? Got to do it, man. You know, I mean, it's something I enjoy doing so much besides editing videos and... and and working on our stuff, I, I this is this is the the best part <laughs> about this hobby, and um, you know they turn they're turning out really nice. Um, you know they've got they got great tone, and uh, so now I just have to do some little further details. You got to do the um, the eyes. You got to do the the, um, the ropes or whatever that they're coming across, and you know they, they're just going to look amazing. So the you'll see once that, I get them done. That color and that shading is looking real awesome so far i got a lot of pop to them so i mean thanks my man yeah and and what's really cool is that again all the shadow or the shading was done from the bottom up with my airbrush and then all the highlighting was done by the top down to kind of give that um, uh, that l that uh, reflecting illusion which makes them look really really cool um, so yeah, I mean, that, I think they'll turn out. Now, 
I've already completed my bikes and I think I've already showed you guys that. Uh, so my next project is to complete these uh, Terminators. I've got five more uh, at home that I need to uh, I need to start working on, but I I think I have plenty of time to complete it uh, before the challenge is uh, over. My man, I noticed that you also drilled out the uh, the holes on each individual barrel of the Gatling uh, part of the assault cannon. Oh, that you looks that. way more hardcore <clears throat> that way, dude. You notice that, and and I'm going to show show the the our YouTube uh, friends the same thing. I tell you what, though, um, my left eye keeps drifting consistently <laughs> since I've been doing it. So, so just bear with me, you know. Cause every once in a while, I just kind of lose traction there in my eyes. But yeah, uh, was finally able to drill them out. Um, I would concur. I, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I mean, I drilled each individual hole for that assault cannon, and I, I'm serious. I was, my hands were shaking the whole time. I was so afraid that I was gonna <laughs> that, run a drill right through. So that really looks awesome to me. I'm a big fan of an old anime called Gundam Wing, and Heavy Arms was this big, powerful, uh, piloted robot, and uh, he used Gatling cannons as well. And just there used to be epic scenes where he would just stretch out that arm and just, you know, point down the barrel and you would see all the open holes of that gabbling cannon aiming at you. That used to be a cool scene in Gundam Wing and I think that's why I got, really got excited when I saw all of the holes drilled out in the assault cannon. Yeah, hey, it's it's a sight to behold, man. It's really, really cool. I can't wait to have this completed. I really can't. This is gonna be a really fun project. It's gonna look amazing. Like I said, I wanted um, Captain Lysander, and I'll show you a picture here real quick. Um, I want Lysander to be accompanied by a good looking, um, um, I almost said pack. <laughs> no, not pack mythos, <laughs> but a, a good looking squad of Terminators uh, right behind him, looking sharp and ready to take on the day. So I can't wait to have that and show you guys. Somebody must miss his wolf brother. He's been referring to all of his squads <laughs> of soldiers as packs as all packs. week. Yep. All freaking week. Yeah, man, I got my pack of devast. Oh crap, man. <laughs> well, man, I am so glad you're getting a lot done where you are, because under that those circumstances, man, being called away to work in another city and just yeah. making sure to make it happen in that hotel room. I mean, that is a clear sign of when life gets in the way, you get in where you can fit in. So that's awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. So, my brother, what have you been doing? Oh, uh, well, you may have seen some pictures post up in the uh, Get It Painted Google Plus group, or mm -hmm. uh, my Facebook page, the Frosted Fist Facebook page. And uh, basically, I've completed the five tacticals. Um, mm -hmm. So that is now down from 34 into 29. Yeah, baby, we are down five bottles. We're in the 20s. Just even though it's only five bottles, dropping into another. You know, another uh, uh, set of 10, you know, from the 30s to the 20s. That makes me feel just a little bit better. <laughs> What's really cool is if you take a look at um, some of these pictures that we're about to slide through, you know, from building it, I started with a black primer, and then I went with the uh, over the top spraying white for that Zenithal highlighting from above. And I really. Well, wait a minute, did you. Hold on, man, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but did you do this with an airbrush? Nope. I mean, I, uh, I laid down my blue base coat with an airbrush, but okay. uh, the black primer and the white uh, highlighting from above, those were all rattle can tricks. Those are uh, tricks I learned from Uncle Adam from Tabletop Minions. And actually, when I first started this betrayal of Cal's box set around April ish, um, mm -hmm. it was my first you know huge commission. I wanted to do a good job, make a little extra dough. So uh, I decided to apply that technique I learned from Uncle Adam and I started experimenting it and it made the models look excellent. I even have guys at the uh, comp er, at the shop we go to who have asked me, who also paint Night Lords, but they say they always look so dark. They have trouble mm -hmm. brightening them up. And I explained about the under, uh, you know, the video understanding undercoating and uh, mm -hmm. how that white layer underneath really brings out some of that blue color and it really makes a difference. I gotta hand it to you. When, when I first saw them, I'm looking at them right now uh, on, on my laptop, and just the way. And I remember when the first time I saw them, I was like, "Wait a minute! Did he just use his airbrush to do that?" Because that is the same exact technique that I use. Uh, but once my uh, once I've done the base coat on my uh, on my units, 
So, but you basically what you did was you did the actual highlighting before, from yeah, from underneath, which allowed that to actually permeate through the uh, through the base coat. Uh, is just amazing, uh, outstanding work, my friend. It looks Thank great. You, my I think, I think, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think everybody would agree. I think Uncle Adam is definitely a great resource for learning. I, he kind of reminds me of Alton Brown, where he brings the science of cooking to the, the, the uh, yeah. to the, you know, to the recipe and makes you understand why you're doing what you're doing. Uncle Adam's really right. the same way. He he brings the, you know, the 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 knowledge, the science almost of what you are actually yeah. doing. To help you understand what you're doing as a painter, you're understanding the right. deeper, the deeper process of it. So it's a great, it's a great channel. Um, it really is, and, and I also do understand he's not really an uncle. <laughs> yes, as part of his disclaimer, Uncle Adam is not really an uncle. Not really an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else you got? Another here, thing I really enjoyed with this. Okay, so the betrayal of Cal came with 30 Marines. So I've already turned in 20. And five of them be reserved for a Devastator squad. Um, so that means the other five, he wanted them to be a little different. Especially since, you know, at our shop, we're really into kill teams right now. So having right. models that look different from everybody else than just the, you know, holding a rifle look, right? Having somebody that looks different can be kind of key, right? So he said, "Put ch I'm going to upgrade all these guys with close combat weapons. Model them differently, and I want chain swords on all of them. So you're going to see, like, they're all different poses, you know, a couple guys firing into the air, you know, or yeah. holding the gun down at their side, holding the sword out. I even, like, um, one guy I was inspired by Mass Effect. So you always see, like, either the pistol or the sword in the, or the pistol or the rifle in the hand and the sword. And, you know, I wanted to actually have both pistol and sword because that's what you use when you get that extra attack in close combat, right? You're getting the right. pistol and the sword, right? So I wanted to show that. I was inspired by Mass Effect because they have these foldable magnetic guns that clip onto their armor whenever they're not using them. And so usually the uh, one of them, I think it's the shotgun, is usually goes on the small of the back. And I was able to model that kind of by taking the bolt rifles. I kind of chopped the hand off and used a piece of sprue to make another handle for it. And uh, I attached that to the lower back, right underneath the uh, backpack. And uh, I don't know, it kind of gave me that Mass Effect kind of look I was looking for. And he was able to wield, so he still has the bolt rifle on him if he wants to use that firing profile, but he's also modeled with this sword and pistol in his hands. So I thought that was kind of neat. Dude, you are amazing. I, it never, it never sees me amaze me uh, how you could just start chopping stuff around and, you know, just cutting off pieces of, of arms and shoulders and filling yeah. in some green stuff. Out of sprue of all things. <laughs> so, See, I probably to try to do that. It'll look like a tree stump or something. So. <laughs> the next thing I did is a uh, uh, a next set is going to be a set of three. Now, um, two of these things are going to be psychers. They're the librarians for night lords. They were not on my original get it painted list and neither are an upcoming three Night Lord bikers. So what's going to happen is I am eliminating five my five Void Claws from Get It Painted to replace with these five more models that I've accepted in my commission. So my total will still be 34, but now I'm just replacing some of my models with some commission models. Oh, well, right on. That's awesome. I mean, we've, we've discussed that. Yep. You know. And so uh, what we have here is the, the two librarians, and then in the middle, is uh, the Imperial Space Marine, or some people call it the Anniversary Space Marine, which is cool because uh, my client is so pleased with my work, he actually said to honor me, he's going to make the Imperial Space Marine, he's going to make that brother mythos in his army. So I thought that was really cool. That is really cool. So, I, I think well-deserved, too. They look great. Oh, thanks, my man. So same thing here. As I assembled them, I left the arms off in places where it would get in the way, blocked it off with some painter's buddy, or with some... Uh, uh, blue putty, you know, sticky tack like you would use to put posters up on walls. And uh, primed it, Zenithal highlighted from above, and then, uh, you know, I used my airbrush to do down the, all these base coats. So, um, you know, getting your airbrush videos have not gone to waste, sir. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, no, it looks really good, very even. Everything looks very well. Just this, this, uh, this place. So. So at the time of us recording, I'm about halfway through those models. 
the Imperial awesome. Space Marine is all I need to paint really is a little deep a couple more details and his gun and then uh, the psychers uh, got to paint their faces and then just little odds and ends like jewelry books stuff like that okay well man Ed, you've been really busy and I really can't wait to see how uh, how they they turn out once they are completed man in addition to my normal get it painted um, for uh, something we're gonna be talking about here in our next video you know uh, something about a tournament mm -hmm. I need to try and get as WYSIWYG as possible so I'm going to be taking apart one of my land speeders taking the multi melter off of it and equipping it with two heavy bolters and uh, I'm going to be taking uh, the uh, chain swords off two of my thunder wolves and replacing them with the weapons that are going to be used in the tournament as well it's a good time to go ahead and get some magnets in I haven't done a whole lot of magnetizing and the Thunder Wolves are so versatile that, you know, I've, I've really needed to have them magnetized for a while, so this is a great opportunity to do that. And I know, you know, this is one of those uh, really cool times that I'm going to get to do something just for me, so that'll be neat. Wow, man, that's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to see it, bud. I think you're uh, doing a couple conversions for uh, to WYSIWYG for the tournament as well, right? So you're going to be doing a little uh, Get It Painted? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, of, course, of course, the Terminators. Um, remember, they had that um, that raised uh, or embossed. I don't know what they're called, but the the emblem of the right, the Dark Angel iconography. The, yeah, and so I actually had to file that down because I couldn't. They, they, they're no longer Dark Angels. They, they, oh yeah, they, I know. But uh, so from what I've seen, you know, you've done a pretty good job filing those down and getting them off, right? That's yeah, cool. I did actually. Uh, you know, I. Uh, file them down as, as best as I could and went back and I chased it back uh, with with some emery cloth um, just to get it, to take away any signs of uh, of their former <laughs> their former selves and uh, I, I think they look great awesome but uh, yeah so hopefully everybody else will think this way and hopefully our friend from Malaga 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 Malaga, Malaga uh, Wargaming Wargames will uh, agree uh, yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'm sure Max will, you know, uh, definitely uh, see the effort you put in, and uh, that beautiful dark but transition with the shades and all that yellow yeah. coming through, yeah, I'm sure he'll good. definitely be able to see it. I love, I love the way it turned out. It looks really cool. I can't wait to, again, the details, what's the, we'll put the, the, the fine, um, uh, what do you call it, the fine wash, yep. or pin washing, rather, uh, we'll get the pinch one, yeah. And uh, get all the little details in there, and it's this is just gonna look amazing. I, I can't wait. You're gonna look amazing. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Always gets me. Jeez. I don't right. have a comeback for that crap. So, so anyway. that's how far we are in our current projects, and a little glimpse into some projects coming up. So, almost there with three more models, but for now, my official count is down to 29. So, just slowly chipping away at it. You got a lot to do, but yeah, and you've got five whole, uh, five whole more Terminators to do. Yep. By the end of this month, so. Yeah, and I have to do some slicing and dicing on those because those are, are a little more. I think uh, they have a lot more appendages and stuff that I need to kind of remove. So. I still think you should keep that huge feathered helm. I think I'll that'd be that. awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it. I'll come up with some kind of fluff story uh, on that. Yeah, I think it would be awesome to come up with a story. Where he knocked out a dark angel in a fist fight. Got to keep the That's helmet. Right. That's right. Uh, conscription. Hey, yeah, you know. <laughs> Forced into the fists. Where did you get that wow. helmet? That's not standard issue. I knocked out a dark angel. <laughs> yeah, it'll be an interesting story. I'll have to come up with something. Oh, this helmet it smells like heresy. And somewhere, somewhere now, our friend Zai from Metal War Gaming, his eyebrow just twitched in anger. <laughs> right. <laughs> How dare they? All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on our update for Get It Painted. Please go check out Edict Beer's channel. Please go check out the Get It Painted uh, Google Plus community. Please go check out the Legion of Gamza page on Facebook and uh, Google Plus because... Um, They've been an awesome, awesome host to us, and uh, 
they're definitely all those guys have great channels worth checking out yep. um, also another um, Facebook page that I'm a part of um, my friend Baza over at the Soul Assassin is running who? a page wait who Baza Baza <laughs> He's running a page called the War Gaming Mafia on Facebook. Go check him out too, because the Soul Assassin is an awesome guy. So yeah, check out his work. Amazing guy. All right. Now, if you liked our update, then uh -oh. ball up your fists or uh -oh. grab up an axe and smash that like button in the name of the Emperor. And drop us some comments down below, letting us know what you think about our progress so far, and let us know what how your progress is going and get it painted. And if you are not yet subscribed. Then we would love to, we would love to have you as part of the pack here at the Frosted Fist. So until next time, guys, stay frosty. Stay frosty.